Hey guys, Saf here with another Rain Shadow Legends video, and today I want to talk about what you should be saving in preparation for the new progress missions that have been announced for Marius the Gallant. Marius the Gallant is a brand new legendary hero similar to Romantu, where he will be exclusively available from a brand new progress mission path. Uh, in the game. So if you don't know what I mean by progress missions, well, you probably have done some on your path to Arbiter and on your path to Romantu if you've done it. You can see here I've managed to complete Romantu. I know a lot of you haven't because you've been roadblocked by Glyphs and Tag Team Arena. So what I'm here to do today is to kind of give you what I think you're going to need to start preparing, saving, stop using because you might need it for a mission coming up. Now, I'm not going to break down exactly what Marius does in this video. I did do a video the other day talking about how the Enfeeble debuff works. Obviously, Marius the Gallant, if you don't know, has an A1 Enfeeble debuff that does seem to work on bosses. It doesn't say that it doesn't. Uh, and we know that Androk, uh, the mythical Bannerlord, also works on bosses. So by assumption, we can assume that it's going to work. So I'm not going to go into the champion specifically. What I will tell you is the progress missions seem to be working alongside Romantu. They're not part eight, nine, and 10. It looks like it's going to just be a, sec a sort of a second path after you complete Arbiter. Um, I would imagine they're going to update this view. As you can see, you can't see here. Now, you can't really see what missions that I've had to do to complete these path chains. On the way to Romantu, it's things like Doom Tower quests, completing all the stages of Doom Tower, secret rooms, collecting Gomlock, for example, from the Doom Tower fragments. They have confirmed that the missions for Maris are going to be related around basically the newer content in the game. We have talking Live Arena, Cursed City, Hydra. We're also talking Gear Ascension and Champion Awakening. Now, these are all what I would call the pain points of the player base. Things the player base really do not like engaging with. Hydra, we all know, is a bit of a grind. People don't like engaging with it. Live Arena, people don't like the high-end arena because of Polymorph. It's all those sorts of things. And we also know that Champion Awakening can be quite difficult. So what I want to do in this video is talk about what things can you expect based on my experience with these missions of what I think playing will do in terms of just in terms of how they will structure the missions based on the previous ones and these new content areas what kind of things are you going to need to save in assumption for what is coming I obviously don't know what the missions are I don't have any test server access or anything I'm just doing this based on what if I was in charge and based on what they've done before how I would approach it so let's do it section by section so the first thing we're going to talk about is Live Arena. You can see it's active right now. When you get in Live Arena, when you get crests, you have to fight in Live Arena and you get these arena chests. So it's a fair assumption that I would suggest that you stop upgrading your Great Hall area bonuses because I will be pretty confident that it will require you to take some of these bonuses up to rank 10. It might require you to spend a certain volume of crests. But I would be almost certain that one of the roadblocks will be make something ranked rank 10, maybe even more. I don't think they'll go as far as to say make an entire row rank 10. And obviously we've got brand new things coming. Now there, there will be a cheap way to do this. For example, it's quite cheap for you to do a, a grade one. These are very cheap. If you compare it to something like Hydra, it costs me 2000 gold medals to get a level 10 here. Well, on a grade one, it will only cost me 500. So if Faction Wars, I expect Faction Wars to be grade one. I can't imagine they'll put it on the same degree as grade two. If they do, then that's a bit annoying. Um, but obviously, we've got Faction Wars coming as new area bonuses. Perhaps you just decide you want to just make Faction Wars easier and give them, like, I don't know, speed. It's a cheap and dirty way to use your medals. If you don't want to spend the grind to get these higher awakenings, like dungeons are probably okay, but it is double, right? It doubles every time. So this is 500, this becomes 1,000, this becomes 2,000. So if there's a quest to get like multiple ones to level 10, it might be more cost efficient for you, especially if you don't like Live Arena, to do these potion keeps. We'll know more when we come out and I'll obviously do an updated video. But absolutely, rule number one, stop upgrading your area bonus to start hoarding these Live Arena crests. The other thing I would suggest you possibly do here is I would suggest you probably start saving some of this gear. Maybe it has some sort of weird gearing requirement. I can't imagine it, but I know that the Doom Tower ones had some like weird stuff where you had to equip someone with Bloodthirst gear. And it's not that easy to get these chests, right? You need to win 35 times. That's a lot of wins, especially if you're in a higher arena tier. So perhaps it's worth you saving some terrible sets just in case you need it for some weird progress mission. And then I think the rest of it's going to be things like fight a number of times, win a number of times. I will be certain, I'd be 99% certain that one of the quests will be get Quintus, which could be a big 
problem. That's what I think the Liver will be. Spend your Arena Crests, probably some sort of weird gearing thing, and then get Quintus. That will be the main things there. Now let's talk about Cursed City. This one I think is what most people will go at this point. Well, it doesn't really matter. I can't get Marius. Cursed City, I will 100% expect one quest to be clear all of normal on 101. I expect another quest to be clear all of hard 101 at some point. It might be one of the last few missions, but I 100% expect that one of the quests will be to complete 101 stages of Sintranos. And that's probably going to disqualify 95% of people from getting Marius. One of them will be kill Amius on hard. That's him. That's probable. It could even be that it'll be like clear certain amounts of awakened stages. They're going to want to try and stretch this out. They don't want you auto completing every single quest in a day. So it could even be something like clear 50 awakened stages. So it takes us three months to do it. They could put some arbitrary time gating in here. But absolutely, if you're not completing Sintranos hard, you can see I've still got a bunch of stages here to do before reset. I'd imagine that is going to cause you like th those th it's going to be a quest there right it's going to be a quest the other thing i, I think is going to be it's going to be get carnage the anarch just like it was to get gomlock one of the quests i think will be get carnage the anarch the way it works out if you do everything it's about five months if you don't do if you do everything but this 40 then it's about nine months but if you don't do the awakened stage i think it becomes about 12 months as well this is the biggest loss because it's 40 of the 100 candles. So if you miss this every single time, it will take you about nine months. So that is a massive, massive time gap. But I think one of them will be to get Carnage the Anarch. That's how I think they'll do Sintranos. They might do some other crazy things like maybe they'll they'll say, you know, you need to complete, I don't know, maybe this stage 17 or if they think one stage is particularly special for something, they might do it. But I'd imagine they'll just do basic things like complete five stages, complete 101 stages in one rotation, those sorts of things like we had in Doom Tower where it was like complete all of normal secret rooms, complete all of secret rooms, complete an entire rotation of Doom Tower hard, those sorts of things they will likely do. In terms of Champion Awakening, this is another section. It's going to be things like probably summon mortal soul stones it might even be things like obvious things like awaken a champion my fear is they do something extremely egregious six star legendary awaken a legendary champion to six star now what i would do my recommendation here start saving some six star rare souls if you pick them up they might be the most terrible champion in the world you need to keep loads of them but make sure if you've got like say an l hain don't awaken them straight away because it could be like the Ascension missions where they're not retroactive. Just keep your souls in your inventory. They're not going anywhere. They're not costing you anything. You know, if the missions come out and none of those missions contain a six star, then we can absolutely eat them. But don't go and get rid of these six star when you when you might need them. There's a soul rush going on tomorrow, for example. If you get six star souls, just keep them in your inventory. Just in case something silly comes out. Like, you know, we got to remember back to the Romantic missions where it was like, get 50 or 40 glyphs to of rank 5 to maximum. It was an egregious mission. It took you so many glyphs. You could absolutely see something like awaken a champion to rank 6. It could even be awaken a legendary champion to rank 6. It depends how harsh they want to go. But absolutely start saving some of these rank 5s. You can see I've hoarded a bunch of souls. Just hoard everything for the, for the time being until you know exactly what you need. Just hoard them. Once we know exactly what you need, you can sell them off. But until then... This could be big. I'd imagine something like um, exchange in mortal soul stones will be a thing as well. It could even be like buy a soul in the marketplace. So start hoarding your essences as well. I think this will be the biggest burden for most people, if you, especially if you don't do Hydra, don't do Iron Twins every day. It, you will absolutely have missions like do Iron Twins at stage 15 on each affinity potentially. Those things will be in here. So if you haven't got an Iron Twins team, that's again another qualifying factor where you won't be able to do these missions. And then the final area that they've talked about is Gear Ascension. Gear Ascension will be things like Sand Devil and Shogun's Grove. So immediately it comes to mind that they're probably going to say, hey, go beat Sand Devil on stage 25. Go beat Shogun Grove on stage 25. That's obviously going to be one requirement. Another requirement is going to be upgrade, uh, ascend an item to rank 2 rank three, rank four, rank six. We could even see some really horrible things like, hey, rework your ascension stat 10 times. That could be a mission as well. So again, start getting your case powder in, start hoarding some oil so that you can ascend things so you don't have to go farm it. And maybe start considering if you don't have it looking for those teams. These missions will probably disqualify 90% of you who are watching this video. If you don't play 
all these end game activities. These are end game activities, but don't become disheartened if that's not the case because it's a progression based system. You will get to where I am in a bit of time. You don't need to wait in years, probably like six to 12 months, you will start looking at these areas. These areas are not designed. These missions are not designed if you've just started playing the game. So don't lose heart. It was not going anywhere. The champion is great. Marius looks really good, but he's not going to like redefine your account just because you don't have him at the moment. Summary of what you should start saving. Start saving your souls, your coins. You can see I haven't exchanged my coins here just in case I need to make mortal soul coins. I'm just assuming every worst case possible scenario. Don't lose your essence. Keep that available because you might have to buy some souls. Keep some six star souls, rare, rare souls even. Just keep the rare souls because if it, if the mission requires to have a six star ascension, maybe the rare isn't good enough. You might just be able to six star for a champion training event, make it to a rank six, and then that's that mission done. You don't have to stress about trying to get a six star legendary. Um, so save those things. Start maybe considering about Centranus. If you if you just don't want to do Centranus, then just don't worry about these missions. This video is not for you. But absolutely start thinking about, you know, potentially doing this. If this Carnage mission comes up, then I would say, you know, try to do the Awakened stages if you can. But I know that Soul Cross is very hard for a lot of people. Um, definitely start considering Live Arena. Um, save these gear. Save your crests. And... I guess it's just then hopefully by patch day, which I think is going to be Thursday, we'll have a much clearer idea of what you need to do. But I would start saving now, especially with the summon rush. That's why I'm doing this day a bit, this video a bit early because there's a summon rush tomorrow and I fear people might just go in and yeet everything. Save some souls if they're a high awakening because they will probably come back to help you in the future for these Marius missions. There we go, guys. Just a very quick summary video of what I think they're going to add. I think they're going to add these Complete 101 stages in Tranos, awaken a champion to rank 6, probably max out ascension on about 10 to 15 items of gear, if not a lot more, probably re-rolling gear, and I would imagine it's going to be things like completing Iron Twins, Sand Devil, Shogun, uh, Killing Amius, those completion milestones as well will probably come up, and I think obviously Live Arena will be win certain fights, climb to certain tier, get Quintus, get Carnage, those are the quests I think are going to come, we'll find out Thursday, but start saving your resources but thanks for watching guys and i will catch you in the next video